How to manage slats or flaps jammed. Part 1. A320, Mentor Channel. Hello and welcome to this wind video. Today, this presentation will describe situations that pilots may experience in the case of slats or flaps jammed. It is very important for the flight crew to understand the real configuration of the aircraft and use appropriate speeds when these events occur. These understandings allow the flight crew to apply the correct procedure speeds. In the first part of the presentation, I will look at the technical features of the slat and flap system. In the second part, Dirk will take you through an operational scenario. The pilot extends slats and flaps at the same time by moving the flaps lever on the center pedestal. On most Airbus family, this lever has five positions which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and full. Each flaps lever position corresponds to a slat and flap position. However, surface positions can be identical for a different flaps lever position and vice versa. As provided in the FCOM, a table illustrates links between the entry point, that is the flap lever, and the angular position of the slats or flaps. This table is available in the FCOM for most Airbus aircraft, more specifically in the flaps and slats subsection of the flight controls chapter. For the single aisle family, as you can see in the display table, slats angular positions are the same when the flaps lever position is at 2 or 3. This corresponds to an angular position of 22 degrees. As for the flaps position, they are at 0 degree for both the flaps lever positions of 0 or 1. Keep in mind that the flaps lever position at 1 can correspond to flaps position at 0 degree or at 10 degrees. If you look at the S330, S340, S350 or S380 FCOM, you will also see that different lever positions can correspond to the same slats angular position. Now, let's have a look at what the pilot can see on the ECAM upper display. On the single aisle family, the flaps lever position is indicated and the flaps slats indication is displayed in white. They become amber if there is a slats or flaps fault. Please consider that the other failure described in the FCOM can result in an amber indication. For slats, there are four positions that can be displayed. They correspond to the four possible angles of slats extension. For flaps, there are five positions which can be displayed. They correspond to the five possible angles of flaps position. I will get back to this point later. Green boxes are displayed to indicate the real flaps slats position. The selected position is identified in blue when the surfaces are in transit and disappears when the selected position is reached. They become amber when there is a slats or flaps fault. The display is similar on the S330, S340 family. On the S350 or S380, the display is slightly different based on the inner and outer flaps on the S350 or the number of angular positions. 
but the philosophy is the same. Then pilots can find a slats or flaps jam situation or have a flaps slats fault in flight. Let's just have a look at that. There may be a problem at flaps or slats system level without specific loss of operation. In this case, the ECAM alert will be associated with a fault. At this point, the pilots know that there may be a concern due to, for example, a flight control computer. But it is not obvious that the slats or flaps cannot be actuated. A reset of the flaps lever can solve the situation. After this, slats or flaps can be locked and because of the fault, the pilots will not be able to use slats or flaps. The ECAM alert will therefore be associated with locked. Keep in mind that flaps or slats can be directly locked without a previous fault message. For SU-20 and SU-30, SU-40 family aircraft, the FCOM and the QRH provide tables with max speeds not to exceed and approach speeds to follow in these events. For SU-50 and S380 aircraft, these tables can be found in the FCOM as well. Tables are based on the slats, flaps, angular position and not on the flaps lever position. Remember that the same flaps lever positions can correspond to the same or different angular position. Therefore, it is important to understand the real aircraft configuration. This picture illustrates the link between what the pilots can see on the ECAM display and the QRH tables. The dots represent slats or flaps angular positions. As explained previously, for the SW-20 aircraft family, there are four angular positions for slats, zero degree, 18 degrees, 22 degrees, and 27 degrees. As for the flaps, the flaps have five angular positions, 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 14 degrees, 21 degrees, and 34 degrees. The way to read tables for max speed or for approach speed is slightly different since each table has its own purpose. The purpose of the max speed table is to avoid structural damage and the purpose of the approach speed table is to provide the best VAPP in view of the slat flap situation. A320, mentor channel.